letting him go. So it will depend, obviously, on the financial proposal. Manchester City wait an official bid for Ederson, but they are aware of the possibility of Ederson leaving. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, we touch on Riccardo Calafiori, Alfonso Davis, Lenny Giro, and also, important things to say, on Saudi, Ederson, and more. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let me start today's video by mentioning the situation of Ederson because there is a lot of movement in Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Arabian market is restarting, entering into important uh, days and weeks. Ali Tihad have a new manager, Stefano Pioli, former Similan manager signing a three-year contract. Ali Tihad have one more centre-back, Arthur Teatre from Rennes, very smart deal for the 24-year-old defender who joins on 18 million euros, a three-year contract, one-year option, medical done in Paris. So many movements for Ali Tihad and it's not over because something could happen also from the Premier League in the next days for Ali Tihad. But for the Premier, from the Premier League to Saudi is also a concrete possibility for Ederson, the Brazilian goalkeeper. If you are following me, if you are following the channel, you remember that in May, end of May, I told you Ederson could leave Manchester City this summer. Ederson has proposals from Saudi. And this remains the case because Al Nasser could be a possibility, not the only one, but there are discussions ongoing between Al Nasser and the agents of Ederson, the Brazilian goalkeeper of Manchester City. So, Talks are ongoing, Ederson is open to joining Saudi and Manchester City, exactly as I told you in May, are open to letting him go. So it will depend, obviously, on the financial proposal. Manchester City wait an official bid for Ederson, but they are aware of the possibility of Ederson leaving for Saudi Arabia since May. So Manchester City already knew about that story when I told you because Manchester City extended the contract of Stefan Ortega because in case Ederson leaves Manchester City, Ortega will will be the new first goalkeeper and Man City will bring in a new backup for that position. So keep an eye on Ederson, Al Nasser or Saudi Pro League in general because if he decides to go, Manchester City will be ready to negotiate and to trust Ortega as first goalkeeper. Real Madrid with many movements in the recent months, obviously Kylian Mbappé, we said about the interest in Franco Mastantuono and they remain very interested in Real Madrid, sorry, in River Plate midfielder Franco Mastantuono, but Real Madrid have two big names on their shortlist. Lenny Joro, Alfonso Davis, Lille, Bayern. What's the situation? With Alfonso Davis, Real Madrid have never, never stopped the contact with the player side. So Real Madrid remain very keen, very interested in Alfonso Davis. But for Real Madrid on Alfonso, the situation remains clear. If Bayern put the player on the market for a normal price, Real Madrid are happy to start a negotiation. Otherwise, Real Madrid are very happy with the squad they have. Fran Garcia, obviously Ferland Mendy. So they are happy with the general situation in that position and they would only act in case the price, the price is going to be something fair, something normal. Otherwise, Real Madrid, if Alfonso Davis ends up staying at Bayern but still not signing a new contract for Real Madrid, the possibility to go for him as a free agent in summer 2025 is still something concrete. So is Alfonso now if the, fry, if the price is normal? Otherwise, will be Alfonso 2025 as free agent. Obviously, in case he doesn't extend the contract uh, for the for um, uh, Bayern. So this remains the case with the story. And then for Real Madrid, also important to mention Lenny Giroud, because between Real Madrid and Lenny Giroud, the situation remains quite clear. Real Madrid wants the player and the player wants to go to Real Madrid. The message to Manchester United, to Liverpool, to Paris Saint-Germain has always been the same on player side. His desire is to become a Real Madrid player. So he's pushing to go to Real Madrid. Lenny Giroud wants to play for Real Madrid. And Lenny Giroud wants to wait for Real Madrid. Now for Real Madrid is a game of timing because they don't want to pay big money for a player out of contract in one year. Similar situation to Alfonso Davis. So also in this case has to be a fair price. Otherwise Real Madrid could attack the situation in 2025. But with Lenny Giroud there is the feeling that Lille are ready to sell the player this summer. And this is why Lenny Giroud and Real Madrid remains a really strong topic also these days with contacts taking place and with Lenny Giroud being a concrete name on the list of Real Madrid for this summer transfer window because the player wants to wait for Real Madrid, wants to give 
total priority to Real Madrid. So Lenny Giro and Madrid remains an absolute topic for this summer, waiting with this game of timing for Lille maybe to drop the price, but for sure with the intention of the player to wait for Real Madrid. The only way for Paris Saint-Germain, Liverpool or any other club to enter strongly the race is if the negotiations between Real Madrid and Lille collapse and Lenny Giroud opens the door to another club. Otherwise, Real Madrid remains his absolute main focus. And then there is the case of Riccardo Calafiori. Riccardo Calafiori remains the big case of the last days. If you are following me here on the channel, you know since last week about the strong interest of Arsenal and Chelsea. Both clubs really interested in Riccardo Calafiori. Who is ahead right now? Arsenal, because Arsenal have presented their proposal to Riccardo Calafiori, is a contract proposal, long-term deal, the salary is not an issue at all because Calafiori is on a normal salary at Bologna, so there is not going to be a problem, but Arsenal also presented their project to the player and the player is open to joining Arsenal in case they can reach an agreement with Bologna. So there is already a green light from Riccardo Calafiori to Arsenal. What about Chelsea? Chelsea are prepared to approach Bologna trying to include players also in the negotiation. So let's see what's going to happen. It's different kind of strategy, but for sure Chelsea are still there, but Arsenal are the favourites in this moment. Mikel Arteta already approved the player. Arsenal have a short list with three names for that position, left footed, talented defender, playing a left back, playing a centre back. So Riccardo Calafiori is exactly what Arsenal need in that position and what Arsenal want to bring in in the summer transfer window, now waiting for the next step. So something between the two clubs. Arsenal and Bologna. This is the crucial step, this is the crucial point. For sure, Riccardo Calafiori gives his green light to Arsenal because he also knows that Juventus are almost no longer in the race. Juventus are considered out because, as I told you, for weeks and weeks, Juventus wanted Calafiori. Juventus had an agreement on salary with Calafiori, but Juventus and Bologna can't agree on a deal because Bologna are furious with Juventus for the Thiago Motta story, the manager who has gone from, Juvent from Bologna to Juventus. That's why Riccardo Calafiori and Juventus is not happening for Bologna. They prefer to sell the player abroad they always had this feeling on Arsenal and Chelsea entering the race and now Arsenal are there presenting the project, presenting a proposal to the player, getting the green light of Riccardo Calafiori and with the green light of Mikel Arteta who is big fan of Riccardo Calafiori and keen on bringing him to the club. Now he's on the clubs. The relationship Arsenal-Bologna is very good after the Tomiyasu deal uh, years ago. Now is also on Chelsea to see if Chelsea will try to bid, including players, and try to approach uh, Bologna and then the player side, or if Arsenal will win this race for one of the most talented defenders around, Riccardo Calafiori, who is wanted by Arsenal, leading the race, and Chelsea. And with Juventus now almost out, I would say that from what I'm told, despite also rumors on PSG and Bayer Leverkusen, the only two clubs in the race for Calafiori are Arsenal ahead and then Chelsea. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories from Calafiori to Joro, Alfonso Davies and the story of uh, the day also about all the other stuff we mentioned together. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Ciao.